Okay, in this video we're going to create a trench along the side of the car park and road to act as a filter strip for drainage. I've removed the rough one that we did previously. Now what we're going to do is click on the top of solid and we want to go to the add point and you'll see I've added a series of points here. So what I've done is added them all at level zero for now but you've got them four in width. So the outer two represent the top of the trench, the bottom two represent the bottom of the trench all the way around. So now what I'm going to do is press escape once so I can just select all of the ones that form the bottom of the trench, hold down the control key on the keyboard and get all of these bottom ones being careful that you don't get any of the top of the trench. Then I'm going to set their elevation to minus 650 and press enter. And we can see that it's nice and clearly formed a trench running along there. OK, I can escape from that. But now we can't actually see it in this view at the moment. We can see the shape of it by there. But let's go to site plan. So I'm going to change to realistic view. And now I can actually see it. But to line this with stone chippings or something along those lines, we've got two options. We could create a separate topo solid, as we did by there for the pond. Or we could do something similar to what we did with the brick path, which is what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to highlight it. There we go. And use the subdivide command. And then I'm going to sketch out a rough outline of the top of solid or the trench. Here we go. And do another one on this side. And we'll have some corners here as well. OK, and then, of course, we can just change the material. So I want perhaps chippings. Um, let's come up with that. So let's go for um, Gravel, maybe. OK, yep, that looks all right. And a thickness. Again, I don't want it overly thick. I'll just say 50 mil just to show something on the surface. All right. And then we can tick and have a little look at that. OK, so we can see there is stone chippings down there. Now, they are a little bit small. I don't really like the scale of those, if I'm being totally honest. So I am going to change that. And what we could do is um, have a look at creating a duplicate of that material, maybe. So to get something a bit bigger, or we could change the scale of it. So yes, we could just change the scale. All right, so we can see here the sample size is 120. Now let's just say we wanted to edit that to something a bit bigger. We could say 480 and keep it the same and say done and click OK. And now when we zoom in a bit, we can see that those stones appear a bit bigger. But again, we could even go something a bit more chunky than that just for this. And this is going to be very chunky gravel. Mm -hmm. oh, there we go. So you, you could play around, though. Um, as you saw fit there to actually create a material 
that you saw. And perhaps I'll do that again in another video where we do look at that in a bit more detail. But it just gives it a bit of surface and texture. Um,